Hey, this is Phoebe Ryan, and I'm here with Live in Limbo. I'm in love with your dark side. So don't turn on the light and stay with me tonight. Hey guys, it's Mariam Said, and I'm here with Live in Limbo with Phoebe Ryan. How are you today? I'm great. Awesome. Are you liking the cold Toronto weather today? Yes. Yeah. It's a little cold, but it's I little, like it. Yeah, for sure. It's lucky you're only here for a day and then you get to go back down and like never have to deal with this. Well, I'm sad to leave Canada because I do really like Toronto. Oh, Toronto nice. is so cool. Yeah. Have you got have you gotten to check out any cool spots or anything like that? Like Yeah, I usually go to like Chinatown. They have amazing dumplings there. Nice. So awesome. I know that's super random, but uh yeah, and I love the little like music row, you know, where um, what's it called? The boot, the boot in no, what's that? like near Queens West, like on this street, or uh, uh, I'm a little confused where we are right now, but it's like it has all those venues that you can just pop around to, and it's like it's so cool. I live in Toronto, and I don't know this. <laughs> <Can't> <laughs> it's, what's the name of that venue? It's called like the Boot and Saddle. No, Boot and Saddle. That's Boots something. And Boots and Bourbon. Boots and Bourbon. Oh, yeah. Nice. Adelaide, so it's like all the bars and, and venues. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm going to check it out right after this probably. You got it. So you're on tour with Toblo. So yeah. how has it been going like oh, so far? It's so fun. I'm like, I'm getting so bummed that it's like nearing the end of the tour. <laughs> have, like, have you had any like memorable moments or anything like that so far? Yeah. I mean, seriously, every day there's been... S- something some crazy happening something crazy happening yeah nice. have you guys done any like on stage have you done any duets or anything like that or no we haven't it's like it's her set is so amazing and it's so like finely tuned like clockwork it's like yeah. you know i wouldn't want to like get up there and be like oh, i don't want to mess up yeah that's know? true <laughs> yeah that's true that's awesome but um you never know maybe we'll I'm finger crossing for Tor- Toronto show tonight that you maybe do something that I cool. jump up on yeah, stage. Yeah, just like jump up. <laughs> yeah. So your single just dropped, Dark Side. Yeah. Are you excited? How have fans yeah. like reacted to it? Like, do you like the reactions and stuff? Yeah, everyone's been super positive about it. So I'm, you know, it's I'm awesome. just always amazed that anybody even listens to my music. So having anybody reach out and be like, "Yeah, I love that song," I'm like. Wow. Wow. You're like thank you this is what, <laughs> this is what I, I do, do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. literally you're right exactly <laughs> you're also like a really big songwriter you worked with like melanie martinez britney spears <laughs> and also the chain chain smokers yeah, what was yeah. that like working with the chain smokers recently oh they're they're such nice guys they're amazing yeah they're really fun really smart like uh, I can't say enough good things about them. Nice. They're just my dudes, you know? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Like your buddies now. <laughs> awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Do you, uh, so why did you decide to pursue your own musical career? Because I know you did songwriting on the side and stuff like that, but why yeah. did you decide to become an artist and like pursued making your own stuff? Um, I I always knew that I was, you know, meant to be an artist. Like being on stage was always something that, um, I knew would be in my future. Uh, I just needed to feel like comfortable, more comfortable with who I am and more comfortable with, um, my craft of songwriting and everything. And I don't know, finally I was just like, I'm ready. Let's do this. You're ready. <laughs> I'm ready. You're definitely yeah, ready. ready. <laughs> I, I love everything and everything that you've done so far. <laughs> Thank you. Any of the artists that you've worked with currently and like recently, um, would you ever want to work with while making an album or something like that? Like in the future yeah definitely um yeah I mean I've some people I've collaborated with I mean they're friends and I, I've yet to do a collaboration where it's like oh I hate that person <laughs> like I don't yeah. know and everybody everybody I've collaborated with I'm like yo you're welcome to come collaborate again let's drop do a this. track with me or yeah something. come on that's awesome nice. yeah I've seen that you're also like really active on twitter and I love like stalking Twitter celebrities. So my favorite, like, who do you follow that you love? Like, just like always mindlessly just scrolling through and laughing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, lately, you know, here's the thing. I don't follow him because I, I, ugh, I yeah. don't follow him. Yeah. But every once in a while, I will read through Donald Trump's tweets and be like, 
this is funny, but also the saddest thing I've ever read. But like, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's just like who I'm stalking lately, I guess. But oh, I think everyone is though. Like th- the stuff he says is just ridiculous. And, you like, know, you can't look away. Yeah. You can't. I mean, look it's on away. the news too now, right? Like everyone's like putting his tweets all over away. the screens and stuff. So yes. I mean, and I also noticed recently on Twitter you started talking about like you went on a sort of a small rant about being a pop star and what I'm it always means. going on these. Rants. I love it. <laughs> I'm here for it. But. um <laughs> What is a pop star to you? Like, how would you define that? I that's great. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, what what is a that's pop true, star? Right? What is it? It's like whoever you are. That's it, right? Yeah, I don't that's know. True. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you went on. You went on to say something about like Britney Spears having a snake all over her and stuff. Yeah, and being yeah. Like, is that like the epitome <laughs> of like a pop star and stuff? So yeah, and you know I'm just I mean? thinking like. Do you need to have like all these bells and whistles and cupcakes on your boobs and yeah. glitter all over your face? And like, I, th- I totally love that. And I totally mm-hmm. like when I see other people doing it, I'm like, that is fabulous. Right. Keep doing that. Like, I love it. But for me, it's like, man, I just, ah, oh, I just want to be myself. I just want to like, you know, yeah, come no, on. for sure. Exactly. <laughs> can, come on, can I be a pop star too? <laughs> Literally, I know. And I think what's kind of cool is that pop is moving into this like new um, era, kind of, yeah. of where like there's not any of those like identifiers anymore. Of like, mm-hmm. you don't have to like. Well, Britney kind of shaved her head, and like you know, you don't have to go to extremes yeah. and stuff. And obviously, the um, the part where she shaved her head was part of personal reasons and stuff like that. But you know what I mean. Um, mm-hmm. I think your green hair definitely signifies. Like, yeah, that's a lot. like the it's one thing cool. I guess. But mm, I guess will yeah. you change your hair anytime soon? Does it like change during albums um, or or like? No, it's been areas? it's been like sh- the, like different shades of green for yeah. the past three years. But like, I just love the green. I don't know if I could. I don't. I don't know. And you don't think you're going to do No. <laughs> no, I, don't I love think the green. So. I love it. I think it's awesome. It's really you too. So, yeah. I'm trying to think of another color like purple. I, I was thinking purple. I think you could do yeah, purple. Yeah, purple would be really cool. Purple, blue. I've always wanted to be a blonde though. Some At some point in my life, I would like to be a blonde. You're going to be a blonde? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take a lot of bleach <laughs> to get this out though, I tell you. It's yeah. It's going to be a mess. I think like letting it grow out is kind of going to yeah. be a cool look. For uh, sure. <laughs> it takes so long. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was going to also ask you about your song, Boys and Poison, because that's my oh, favorite. That's yay. currently my favorite. I love Dark Side. I think it's an awesome song. But Boys and Poison just has, like, this kind of grungy yeah. feel. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So it was, like, writing that song specifically. You know what's crazy is I wrote that song so long ago that – it's like a little bit of a blur. Like I just remember being in the studio with my friend Mike who produced it and my friend Kyle who wrote it with me. And um, just like the vibe in the studio, we were just cracking up the whole time being like, can we get away with this? Like, is this stupid? Like <laughs> boys and boys. And, like, is that like dumb? And I was like, nah, this is cool. Let's it, do it. It really is. I love how it rhymes. It's just like, it's like you, it always gets stuck in your head. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> one of those songs. So I love it. Is it. Did you bring the same mentality when you were writing Dark Side and stuff? Or like, how did that come about to be? Um, Dark Side was with uh, a different crew. So it was just like a little bit of a different vibe. Um, we were all, it was my first session with um, my friends Elof and Jason, my first time meeting them. We were in Stockholm and, you know, I was just like out of my comfort zone meeting new people. And um, there was just kind of like this, this spark, this click yeah. when we got this idea. Um, and it just like turned into dark side. Like, I don't know how, like it just, we chased it. We just chased it. And, uh, it turned out really great. The lyrics are spooky AF. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. Yeah. It's very, it's, it's funny because it has this different type of vibe that happens. So Mm -hmm. I, I I love it. What's up? What's up next for Phoebe Ryan? Can you let us know? And your viewers and your fans, Twitter followers, everyone. Let's see. Um, I'm working on a full-length album. Don't know when that's going to be done because I am a little bit of a perfectionist, so it's got to be perfect. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah. Nice. Stay tuned. It's going to be crazy. 
I'm excited. I'm here for it. More spooky AF lyrics. Yeah, so spooky. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks so much. It was nice talking to Thank you today. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Bye.